Today's video is on the top 5 mind-boggling visual illusions. Number 5. The Kinesa Triangle Illusion When you look at this image, how many triangles do you see? This is called the Kinesa Triangle Illusion, having first been created by Italian psychologist Gaetano Kinesa in 1955 and is an example of how our brains fill in the missing information. Psychologists call this effect the law of closure, where objects that are grouped together are perceived as being whole. While there's one drawn triangle, the one made from black lines, it's almost impossible to not see a second white equilateral triangle, even though there are no lines to suggest its presence. It's the pieces cut from the circles and the presence of the black line triangle that tricks our brains into thinking this other triangle is there, when in fact, it's simply an illusion. It's proof that we often see more than is actually truly there and highlights the processes happening in the brain when it's making sense of all the information it's receiving from our senses. It makes you wonder, what else do you think exists but is merely being created in your mind? Number 4. The Zollner Illusion First developed by a German astrophysicist called Johann Carl Friedrich Zollner in 1860, the Zollner illusion is made up of a series of lines that are intersected by shorter lines at varying angles. The question is, are the main lines straight or are they angled so they will eventually meet each other? They are, of course, parallel to each other, and it's the shorter lines that are giving the impression that they aren't. This illusion shows how background or secondary images can distort how straight lines appear, and there are two main theories about how this works. The first is that the angles of the shorter lines create the impression of depth, so one of the lines seems to be closer to us than the other. Alternatively, it could be because the brain is actively trying to increase the angles between the short and long lines, which results in the long lines appearing to be skewed. Interestingly, this effect can be completely removed by changing the colors. If the long lines are colored in green and on a red background, there's no illusion at all. Number 3. The Ponzo Illusion The Ponzo Illusion is another that involves our perception of lines, but this time, instead of changing the angles, it's the length that appears to be different. Look at the two yellow lines. The top one is longer than the lower one, right? Mario Ponzo, an Italian psychologist who was exploring how the brain and visual systems interact with each other and interpret data, first described this phenomenon in 1913. It's usually shown with the use of converging lines that look like railway tracks, and it's this association that causes the illusion. Our brains interpret the railway tracks as stretching off into the distance. We are seeing the top line as being further away than the lower one, and also that the edges of the railroad tracks are a fixed distance between each other. If the yellow lines were actual objects placed in a 3D world, then the top one would have to be larger in real life to be seen as that size but in reality, it's exactly the same length as the lower one. This shows how our brains interpret 3D images, but can be easily fooled when working in a 2D world. Furthermore, it's not just humans who see this effect. Further studies have shown that primates and even pigeons all perceive the Ponzo illusion, although to which extent it is present varies between species. Number two, the spinning dancer illusion. Here's a silhouette image of a dancer spinning around in a circle. But which direction is she turning? Clockwise or anti-clockwise? What might be a surprise to you is that different people will give a different answer, and with a bit of effort, you can actually make it change in your perception too. This illusion was developed by Nobuyuki Kayahara and originally was said by various online sources as being a test to determine whether the left or right side of your brain is more dominant. It doesn't actually have anything to do with this, though, and is actually an instance of what psychologists call bistable perception. This is where our brains interpret a two-dimensional object and try to understand it in a three-dimensional context. We try to create space around the dancer and attribute a direction of rotation, but the reality is either way would work. If you haven't done already, look closely at the dancer and try to imagine her spinning in the other direction. If you need to, just focus on one part like the foot, and eventually, it'll switch. Now you'll be able to see your turn in this new direction until you actively try to change it again. The same effect can be seen in other famous visual illusions too. 
The Rubens face and vase illusion, for example, forces your brain to make sense of a bi-directional image. So does the duck rabbit illusion and the Necker cube, which is something most of us drew and discovered ourselves when we were younger. Number one, the Ames room illusion. If you've ever wanted people to see you as being taller, then the Ames room illusion is what you've been looking for. It makes it possible for two people of the same size to be stood in the same room, but for one to appear much larger than the other to observers looking in. It's an effect that was first designed by an ophthalmologist called Edelbert Ames in 1946 and requires the use of a specially designed room to work. Observers look into an Ames room from a carefully designated position, often through a peephole, and see a cube-shaped room which looks no different to any other. In reality, though, everything in the room, the floor, the ceiling, the walls, and the windows are all trapezoidal. The floor, while it seems flat, is on a gradient, and the walls aren't perpendicular to it. They're slanted. This allows clever positioning of objects and people into the room to make their proportions seem wildly different than normal. It means that the true illusion happening here is the recognition of the room as being normal. Your brain interprets everything within the confines of the room and identifies them in a way that makes the most sense. So identical twins can even seem to be much larger or smaller than each other. The size difference is caused by distance. The smaller person, in reality, is much further away from the larger person, which is possible because of the clever way in which the room has been designed. The principle of the Ames Room Illusion is a trick used in several movies to give the impressions of vast size differences between characters. In The Lord of the Rings, for example, it's how Gandalf was made to appear much larger than the hobbits. And examples of similar techniques go as far back as the heyday of silent movies. Honorable Mentions Beach or a Door With social media enabling people to share imagery around the world in an instant, Examples of optical illusions in photography are becoming far more common. This one, for example, was shared in 2018 and shows the image of a blue door in a green door frame on a cream-colored house. Or does it? Perhaps instead, if you turn the picture around, it's actually a beach, the turquoise sea, and a clear blue sky. As with other illusions, everyone can see both possibilities here, simply by rotating it. Still, each person has their own idea of what the image was in the first place, and it led to numerous discussions and arguments online. Things got so heated that the person who originally shared it, Rebecca Riley, had to step in two days later to reveal the truth. She released a second image, which was the original, and showed that she actually had done some sneaky Photoshop work to remove people from the water. Yes, of course, it was a picture of the sea. Why would anyone have ever taken a close-up picture of a door? The dress. Finally, it's the most famous visual illusion in recent years, and one that spread like wildfire across the internet in 2015. Yes, it's that dress. The image is of the mother of the bride at a wedding in Scotland, but depending on who you are, your perception of the colors of the dress may vary drastically. People generally fall into two camps, those that see it as being gold and white, and those who see it as black and blue. Infuriatingly, unlike many other optical illusions, it's almost impossible to push your brain to see the other color scheme, which led to the belief by many that they were being pranked. High-profile figures like Taylor Swift and Gigi Hadid joined the conversation, and it was virtually impossible to avoid. Now, though, neuroscientists believe they've managed to explain why people were able to see such different colors in the same images. It's not, as some thought, anything to do with screen resolution or color blindness but actually to do with how our brains were interpreting the background of the image, in particular, the way that it has been lit, something that happened because the picture was overexposed. Those who saw it as being in a shadow were more likely to see gold and white, while those thinking it was illuminated by artificial light see blue and black. If you see white and gold, try looking at artificial light for a moment and then looking back at the image. Then you'll see how much of an impact it makes. I hope you all enjoyed today's video narrated by Zach this time. Be sure to subscribe for more and check out some of our recent uploads.